As adults, we all know that in order to be successful, we will sometimes have to do things that we don't feel like doing but know that we need to do because on some level we know it will ultimately be good for us. As long as we have goals or desire to grow or change, we're going to face friction and obstacles at some point. And it doesn't matter how we define success. It could be wanting to become healthy or fit or getting a degree or starting a business that we feel would make a meaningful impact on the world. The the bottom line is we'll be faced with decisions like should I binge watch Netflix yet another night or go to the gym? Should I go hang out with my friends or get ahead on my schoolwork? Should I spend countless hours scrolling through Facebook and Instagram or put energy towards launching my dream business? The point is that without willpower or self-control, it'll be really hard to make meaningful progress towards our goals and a better future for ourselves. The good news is willpower and self-control can be trained. So if you feel Feel like you're constantly disappointing yourself by choosing short-term pleasure over long-term gain, keep watching this video for some tips to improve your self-discipline and increase your inner strength. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Mike and I'm a Kung Fu and Tai Chi teacher based out of Boulder, Colorado. On this channel, I share inspiration and strategies each week around topics such as personal growth, self-care, and mindfulness to help you live a more masterful life that is both intentional and fulfilling. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today's video is about the link between things like willpower and self-control with success. It's about our capacity to stay focused focused on our long-term goals and dreams rather than succumb to short-term pleasure. So put another way, we could even say today's video is also about delayed gratification. At this point, there have been numerous studies done that have shown that those who are able to delay gratification tend to be more successful in life, whether it's looking at things like health or stress or addiction to income and education levels and things like happiness and social behavior. And the good news is that there have also been many studies done that show willpower and self-control is something that can be trained like a muscle. It's about learning how to deal with our uncomfortable emotions. And that comes down to learning how to direct our attention and our thoughts. That's what it really comes down to because if we can do that, we can consciously choose what we truly want for ourselves and summon the willpower needed to move past temporary discomfort in order to make progress towards our longer term goals. So no matter how hopeless you may feel or how set in your ways you think you are, just know that change is possible. It may feel challenging in the beginning, but I promise it'll get easier with time and practice. Practice. So what are some ways we can start building our willpower muscles so that we can develop our inner strength and resilience? The first way I suggest is by meditating. Meditation is not about getting rid of our thoughts. It's about observing them without judgment so that we don't get lost in them and become unable to focus on what we actually want to focus on, namely our long-term goals. When our minds are preoccupied, we're much more likely to allow impulsive thoughts to guide our choices rather than our long-term goals. So we must train ourselves to not become slaves to thoughts like, I'll do it tomorrow, or those which are similarly self-sabotaging like quitting or giving up. Through meditation, we learn that all thoughts are fleeting and that impulsive thoughts and urges will likewise pass. And so each time we tell ourselves, no, I'm not going to wait until tomorrow, I'm going to do it today, for example, our willpower muscle gets a little bit stronger. And through time, the more we work this muscle, the stronger it gets. And the stronger it gets, the more willpower and self-control we have. Meditation is a foundational practice for this channel. Check out my previous video here if you want to learn why a mindfulness practice is crucial to becoming more aware of our thoughts so that we can consciously discern whether they are in alignment with creating the life and experiences we desire. And from that video, you can access a 20 minute guided meditation that I recorded for this channel that is great to follow along with if you're just starting out.
The second way I suggest to help build our willpower muscle is to make sure you get enough sleep. There have been some studies that have directly linked sleep to willpower. It appears that people who are sleep deprived are more likely to have less focus, give in to impulses, and make questionable choices when presented with conflicting desires and opportunities. It seems that not getting enough sleep diminishes the energy needed for self-control and reduces our capacity to exercise willpower. These studies show that it is the prefrontal cortex part of the brain that experiences heightened activity when people are attempting to control impulses or their behavior. And that brain scans done during sleep deprivation studies show a decrease in activity in that area, which suggests that our capacity to exert self-control could be impaired when someone is not getting enough sleep, thus making it harder to stay focused on our long-term goals. We're much more likely to get caught up in everyday stresses, and cravings. There have also been studies that have tied poor sleep to a decreased capacity for emotional regulation, so we're much more likely to react emotionally during stressful situations. All this to say that there's a connection between sleep and self-control when we're trying to achieve long-term goals and make healthy changes in our lives. It really is one of the key aspects of being able to start and maintain healthy habits. The last way I suggest to help build our willpower muscle is to exercise. Exercise has also been shown to activate our prefrontal cortex, and it appears that contemplative exercises like Tai Chi and yoga, as well as intense physical practices such as Kung Fu, both help to increase our willpower and self-control. As far as research goes, a lot of it seems to be related to how exercise helps manage stress. When we're stressed out, it's much harder to access our willpower and self-control. Stress can trigger our fight or flight response, which in turn can tells our bodies to turn on survival mode and focus on short-term outcomes versus encouraging the self-control needed to keep the long game in mind. So using exercise as a stress management tool is one of the best things you can do to improve your willpower. And not only that, exercise is known for making us feel good because it causes our body to release endorphins, which helps to clear our minds, improve our sleep, and elevate our moods. And to wrap up, if you were to try any one of these ways to start building your willpower and self-control, I fully believe it will make a huge impact on all aspects of your life. And I understand that every day can be a struggle. You might even, for example, love going to the gym and exercising, but it's that distance between your couch and actually getting your butt to the gym that is the problem. All I can say is that these are the times in life where pushing through is actually a good thing. And because it's like building a muscle, it gets easier the more we work it. The more we push through the short-term discomfort, the stronger we get and the more momentum we build. And the, with more momentum, it becomes easier for us to stay on track and keep motivated as we work towards our long-term goals and dreams. All right, that does it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you found helps you to build your willpower and self-control muscle. And please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and would like to receive inspiration and strategies just like this each week. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.